Hey Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October love and sex messages. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a disclaimer. I'm going to be, you know, using a lot of sexual, nasty language. And there's going to be some cursing. So if you're not into that, you can click off. All right, let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. going to start with the love okay first one we have is act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you so they will always so they so you will always consider them Ooh, yes it's kind of like manifesting the perfect person into your life visualizing them visualizing them and, and doing your manifestations the law of attraction will bring them to you faster and in divine timing we have you are limitless recognize this truth you can do anything you choose to do You're, there's no limit to what you can have in a relationship and a person the qualities that you want in them okay if you're a picky person it doesn't matter you like what you like and that's that you can like them dark, you can like them light, you can like them big, you can like them skinny. People may talk shit, call you freaking hollow or whatever, a sh shallow how or whatever that the, the movie is called. <laughs> shallow how, you could be very shallow. Did I say hollow? <laughs> Halloween. You could be very shallow. So um, it's kind of like do not limit yourself to what you want in a relationship, who you want, what you want to do sexually too, because that's very important. Go for it. You no, know, go for the big bang. The big old bang, big bang theory. We have take a chance on love. When you start, when we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Yes, it's getting on the boat of love. Okay, riding the waves. Whether you're not really into getting into relationships, a lot of people are not about relationships. They just want to date, have that freedom. Okay. Um, maybe you've been a little bit emotionally closed off so because you don't want to get hurt or whatever it is that's going on. This is telling you take a chance on love. Take a chance on love. You never know when this fucking life, love boat is going to lead you to a better caramel. Calm. Oh my God, I can't talk. Calm. Calm island. There you go. God damn it. I kept saying come. Someone's going to come. No. <laughs> All right. So let's get some cards off of the fortune reading. Let's see here. Woo. Someone is having me stutter. My throat chakra is just like fucked up right now. All right, we have dragonfly. We have beware. Ooh. Could also mean watch what you say. I mean, you saw me stuttering. I couldn't talk. And because we got the beware card, this is like watch what you say. Beware. Be careful who you trust at this time. Okay. Be careful who you allow into your heart, into your soul. I know you've been like, um, some of you don't trust a lot of people. It's, it's pr pretty much telling you trust no one. Or some of you are going by that, trust no one. So it's like, you just be very careful who you, you tell your secrets to. Be very careful uh, if this new person comes in. Uh, don't be so like quick to open up to them because you don't know what they're about. Get to know them first because later on down the road, you never know when there's a fight. They might use your weaknesses against you. So be very careful about that is what I'm hearing. We do have Dragonfly. It says, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal and connection to spirit. So if you're going through a hard time right now, it's only to get you closer to spirit, to the universe. So they want you to open up, okay? They want you to open up. And by doing that, or if you haven't been having the best luck in love or in relationships, uh, those are karmic partners to teach you lessons so that when the real one comes in, you're able to be happy. You're able to not fuck it up. So just be very careful about that and, and just have confidence, okay, that things will get better. Be confident that your relationship will be better. It'll move on to a, a, a whole nother level. And so... Um, yeah, this is this something's going to be transformed. This could be a renewal of a, a relationship that you had in the past that just didn't work out. This could be a renewal of you, the way you do things, the the way you love, express your love. Okay, so then we have Cracker. 
It says, positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Ooh, keep thinking positive. You see that? Love, joy, and fortune awaits. And we have the take a chance on love behind that. So there you go. Love is coming in. Your boat, your ships are coming in in love. And in money too. So you're going to have the freedom to do what you want. And uh, have fun is what I'm seeing. Let's get some romance angel cards. Let go of control issues. Oh, man. Keep an open mind. And finances and career. All right. So let's start with keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectation. So don't be so, you know, closed off. Don't be so closed off or you're not allowing love to come in or you have a different mindset and you're just very, the, you only see what you see and you'll, you only believe what you believe. You do not want to hear anybody's shit or input. Pretty much is telling me your soulmate can come in. Just have an open mind because you might be attracted to them. Just because they, they look a certain way doesn't mean, okay, don't judge a book by its cover. So it's just like keep an open mind, get to know them a little bit, and you never know who you just might fall for. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Go with the flow. Don't feel the need to always take control of everything. In your, in your mind, you're probably like, oh, no, this is not right. I need to do this. I need to do that. Let it go, okay? Let go, let flow, and things will work out best. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So because it's going to pick up and get better with the cracker card here, good fortune awaits. It's coming in. So if you've been struggling financially and it's been causing trouble, trouble in your relationship, expect it to, to pick up. Okay, expect things to get, you know, better. They're probably going to get a little bit worse to test you out before the blessings and everything come in. But be careful, you're going to get tested. Okay, so let's get some of the sexual cards here. Please give me some messages for Scorpio for the month of October. Sex, please, for Scorpio. We have the Emperor. Someone is, this is someone who really, who likes to take control. Yeah, someone who likes to take control could be an Aries, okay, because we have let go of control issues, it's going to be hard. You know, you like to run things, you're the boss, you're the go-getter, you like to take control just like the emperor does. So it's kind of like telling you to let go of having to control everything. You don't need to control everything, especially in love and sex. I mean, it's good if you like to take control in sex. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But in other things, you know, you got to take it easy. So I feel like someone's going to come into your life, Scorpio, or this could be you, that is very demanding, who, who likes to get it their way, very aggressive, and, you know, gets what they want, especially sexually, because, you know, you like to be in control. You like to make your demands, and people bow down to you. People do what you say sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not too bossy we have the ace of earth reversed okay and this deck it's kind of like maybe you had to let go of dating or sleeping around for some time because you were working on your your finances and you just kept to yourself i feel like right now some of you are not the type to want to be in a committed relationship you are just going out there dating and having fun and there's nothing wrong with that You're successful, you attract men and women, whether you're men or woman, depending on who's watching, and you just don't want to commit right now. There's nothing wrong with that. Have fun, you know, do you. Strength. <laughs> this card has been coming out a lot up a lot lately. Look at that. That's a big penis, by the way, she's that she's holding on to. This is someone, Scorpio, I'm not sure if you're the type of person who likes to go strong, you know. You can go on and on in bed and not get sexually tired. This is someone who can, you know, you know, give blow after blow after blow and still grow strong. 
And that's what probably someone loves about you. Or if you're a Scorpio woman, you are looking for a man who, who's very big, who can, who has that stamina, who has that power, the strength to keep going and, and keep it nice and big for you all night long. <laughs> you know, I am just saying. Some of you are dealing with someone like that and it's hard for you to let go. That's why you're holding on so tightly to that dangling because you're like, God damn, what do you expect? It's so good. I cannot. Why would I even leave you? You know, <laughs> just saying. Oh, we have the world card. Someone is literally rocking your world and you're rocking their world. You could be meeting someone, like I said, who likes to take control, who can go strong. And you're just like, holy shit. Feeling on top of the world right now. You see that sexually? Oh, yeah. You will be riding it and riding it. You go round and round and round, right? <laughs> uh, this could also represent someone is uh, ending it with you, too. It could mean that you're wrapping it up with someone. You could be ending it with someone. So, and it's just like a completion that you went through where you're like, okay, I'm done with this person next. Or I'm ready to, I'm done with this relationship and I'm ready to go out there and date. It could mean anything. Then we have the king of water. Okay, this could this could be you, Scorpio, whether you're male or female. Someone who's very loving. This Someone who's good-hearted, you know, sets their boundaries, put their foot down, can get very fucking grouchy and mysterious and mean. When need be, if someone pushes you, but it, it probably takes a lot. Or if you're a woman, you're... You know, you can snap easily, but I'm just saying, um, you could have a Scorpio or a, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or this could be you that, you know, just spite of everything, you're a good person within. You're someone very loving, and they like that about you. We have the Empress. Wow. So we have the Empress and the Emperor. So if you are in a relationship, you guys are a fucking power couple. You guys are building your empire together, making things happen, okay? And that's good. You're literally turning your world around. That's amazing. The emperor, the empress could be someone very nurturing and loving. Someone who is not afraid to bow down to her because they see her as somebody up there, okay? She overpowers all queens, everybody from the deck. So I feel like you have the potential to have someone bow down to you and, and you can make them your peasant or something. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Let me get uh, my other deck. Scorpio. Woo! And we have the world again. Upright, that's twice. Oh yeah, there's a definitely a completion about something. Let's say if you have been out there being promiscuous and single, you're done with that. Some of you just want to settle down and be happy. Others of you, if you have been in a relationship, that's coming to an end and you've been tied down for so long, you're ready to go out there. Okay, you're ready to live it up. Your world is about to change. There's there's a completed cycle. There's something being transformed. This is you. Okay, that's both of you. This is you and the person you're dealing with. Or this is the second time around. We're going to try wrapping something up and starting something new. Some of you went on a quest to, you know, be kinky and sexual with a person person and you completed that goal okay you completed a goal and achieving someone that you wanted for quite some time Whew. eight of cups some of you guys are walking away from a lover that you used to have you know sex with you guys are done with the world card here someone is done and walking away you could be done, you know, like I said, dating and you want to be to yourself or you want to be in a stable relationship. Or if you've been in a stable relationship, you're done with that and you are walking away to be single. Okay, take it as it resonates. It could go either or for my couples and my singles. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. Ooh, the Queen of Wands represents an Aries the Sag. Someone who 
is not afraid, okay, to express her sexuality, to be sexy, not afraid to give oral, not afraid to get down and dirty in bed. It's like be a porn star in bed and be a lady when you're not in bed. And it's like you, I feel like you've been needing that, you want that, you're craving that, and you're going to get it. You could be taking on the energies of a fire sign, okay, where you've been, you know, you're going to get a wave of passionate affection and you're going to feel the need to feel that touch of a person. If, let's say you haven't had sex in a while, now is the time to, it's going to like, something is going to awaken inside of you where you're going to be like, okay, I need to, I need it. I need that sexual healing. I need this and I need it now. <laughs> Ooh, you could be a nympho too, is what I'm saying here. We have the Four of Swords reversed. Okay, in the upright, it's talking about healing, okay, sexual healing and stuff like that. So, in the reverse, I feel like I said, speaking about sexual healing, someone needs to be have that sexual release. Okay, you could be grouchy lately, you could find yourself grouchy lately, find yourself wanting to go out there and just everybody's looking good to you because you're horny or something <laughs> you're just like i need to be released i need to have that you know i need to just i need to blow i need to just you know what i mean i need to come a bitch is getting grouchy you're growing butts down there it's been a while and you're like okay it's time i need that sexual healing or i'm going crazy <laughs> or i'm going crazy all right let's see any more for Scorpio? This could also represent someone... Ah! In the reverse, it could also represent someone who... Who has been doing it all night long and you are just exhausted and you're like walking side to side the next day and you're like telling people... You don't even have the energy to tell anybody or your friends what you just... The crazy night you just had... You're just like, oh my God, I need to recover. This was an insane night. <laughs> Especially because we had the strength card. Someone who can go on and on. Goddamn. Woo, two of wands. Okay. Two of wands. So after you're done sleeping with someone and you're ready to go. Okay. It's kind of like you're thinking about what you just did. Or you're thinking about what now. Are we going to take this to the next level? Are we going to keep fucking? Do I want to stay in a relationship? Do I just want to keep it, you know, sexual? Those are the things I feel like some of you are thinking about. This could also represent someone sleeping with a specific person and then they end up going back for more because, you know, the sex was good. And you're probably not even into them that much. <sighs> okay, then we have the five of wands reversed. Okay, look at it in the upright. This is like, you know, getting aggressive in bed and shit like that. Reverse. It's kind of like maybe you're dealing with someone who does not like to be, you have to be delicate with them because they're a little sensitive. And it could piss you off. You're just like, you know what? I need someone a little bit more aggressive. Someone who can handle this. You know what I mean? And you're like, ugh. You don't want to be bored in bed. Someone could be bored with, you know, sexually with whoever they're dealing with. And you want something more spicy. Want a little spice girl. <clears throat> we Yeah, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Someone's not happy sexually. And their relationship or the people that you've been dating lately has not been, you know, giving you that pleasure that you need. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So, all right. Um, I'm going to pull a Lover's Oracle. Remember, these are different scenarios. This is not just, just one whole story. So <clears throat> take what resonates and do not try to fit the story to fit your scenario. Just take what does and drop what doesn't. We have friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay? Or if you can't be friends with the person that you love or they're having sex with, if you can't be friends with them or talk to each other like that or have fun, then what the fuck are you doing? Is it is it worth it? Are you going to be happy? You know what I mean? Okay. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. 
It's kind of like don't ever be forced into doing something that you're not happy with, that you don't feel is right. You have to be honest with yourself at all times so that you can bring on that vibration of, of positive energy. You never want to go against your gut or go against your intuition about something or someone because you won't, you're not being honest. You won't be happy. You will not end up happy. Okay, we have my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Wow, this is like the twin flame card here. Okay? Oh, man. So if you've been separated with your significant other or if you met your twin, if you were not with them for a while, whew, you, I feel like some of you are manifesting them back into your life. No matter how long it's been, you still feel the same way. The love is just so strong and you can't stop thinking about them. I feel like you will manifest them physically very, very soon. Pretty soon you will be feeling their tender touch. You'll be, you know, happy with them again. Oh, wow. Soulmate. Uh, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. You see? Talking about manifesting. So if you're not with somebody or you have your heart set on a specific person, you haven't seen them in a while, them while you're masturbating or while you're... You know, just doing your thing and feeling how it feels like when they touch you and everything. You will definitely manifest them physically. That's how powerful the mind is. So take that as a note, boo. All right, Scorpio, this was your message for October. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Love you guys so very much, and I'll see you in your next video.